rigged up a head wrap like <laughs> I got I really got tired and it is what it is like mm. what I hate about YouTube is as far as I'm concerned if it's people hating they can still suck it in the drill bitch I'm sick every deals with the shit real niggas always gonna excel for me bitch I'm good yeah I'm straight hit the wood it was late high as fuck feeling great wait for never mind Hi y'all, so welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, my Jules B, the one and only. Today, I am just talking about what I hate about YouTube. The things that make me feel that I have to add so much or, or overly compensate for, you know. Like, I'm not the number one thing on my channel, right? Right off the bat, the first thing I hate about YouTube is the hashtags um trying to uh come up with the title that coincides with the hashtags that the description um talks about the hashtag and honestly these are things that i do well excuse me these are things that i do well but at the same time it's like extra fluff like just watch the fucking video like two the thumbnail uh there is a lot of pressure sometimes to create and do it in a way that I feel satisfied with the content I'm putting out and where I feel like that it would get traction. That no matter how many times you say, don't worry about the numbers, you fucking look at the numbers. You are just, only it's this goal, but it's like, okay, I see where I am. And it's like, you kind of get anxious, so you get antsy and you want it to happen now. The things that you do to get subscribers. I hate the idea of subscribers, honestly. I do not like that you have to gain these people and get these attention and um, they basically feed you. They feed you and they make you relevant by the number of subscribers. When I already know I'm the shit, like everyone should know that about themselves, that they are the shit and who they are is enough. But these platforms instill this unconscious belief that you have to have this to be this and it's like we're already the shit starting we're already who we are and we're gonna stay that same way regardless of the line at the end that script that pre-written like script like comment subscribe i really hate that um i don't think i'm gonna be doing that anymore i think i'm just gonna introduce myself do what the video is about and end the video with my little outro saying and I put my thanks for watching and I have a watermark in my videos now. So if you wanna subscribe, you can hit that easily or click the subscribe button, um, of course, and hit the bell notifications to know when I post. But other than that, I'm not gonna like push and promote that. Um, it just makes me feel like I'm trying to sell myself. And I mean, shit, if you're gonna, be interested you are if you're not that's fine so i don't want to push that on anybody it's uh it's becoming like a routine-ish kind of just like it's not my words and i just i don't like it yeah and i think it's just this it's the the hashtags the added pressure that i add to myself when i put out content for youtube it's the the algorithm I hate the algorithm okay um because it's like, I know I have so much to offer. And it's the thing of, but they don't see me yet. Because it doesn't have at least 1K views or um, a certain number under my name that represents like, that hey, she's worth looking at. And it's like, bitch, I'm worth looking at without the motherfucking numbers. You just haven't caught on yet. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, if you don't have the things in place to fit into the algorithm youtube doesn't show your stuff so that's why i promote it on my instagram and the idea of me and youtube together like it's almost like a relationship between me and youtube basically so i'm very passionate about it. i'm very passionate about myself and how i choreograph these videos how i plan and everything and everything that i put into it it's like damn you're already doing this. Like, you're already the it girl, the it person in your mind, the it YouTuber. And there's no competition. You know that if you want people to, su to support you, 
you should definitely go out and support others. One of the things I hate, um, the amount of effort it takes and time, um, it, it gets a little draining sometimes and I've had to adjust and cut out a lot of things. Here's a tip for anyone um, deciding to be a YouTuber and committing to this path. I have had to cut out the amount of time I spend on social media. I have this block from 10 to 5 that I'm only on social media or that's the time frame of like try to post in the morning um and I get on there throughout the day to check in or whatever and even today like I really want to be my ass because I have not like got into my gratitude routine and I said I'm going to do that when I get done but um I have to find time for social media find and construct the time frame for relationships family for myself because I have to care for myself a lot and um make sure that I'm good and that I'm able to come to you and record and talk and use because that's using energy that's me having to you know talk to you I have to engage with this um, yeah I have a certain window when I'm on social media 10 to 5 and I've been very disciplined with that like this week implementing that and I see the changes I see that I'm more available to my family instead of being cooped up in my room and on social media all the time and most of the time that is me just scrolling that's just a tip of advice for any new youtuber new creator um treat it as a job set it set a specific time frame for interaction and then outside of that time you spend you create a time frame from for yourself for time to care for you for time to share and care and interact with others and basically that's it for time to do uh things that you want to do i think that basically just aligns with uh self-care and self-nurturing for yourself um and yeah i think that's the best advice that i can give outside of finding things that i don't like about youtube the good always the bad and i am so grateful recording and creating the content that i love and vibrate with will attract those people who vibrate at my same frequency that's it for me y'all thank you for watching my video uh it's your girl my jewels b the one and only signing out i love you